up guys welcome back to man cave collectibles coming at you today with another figure review today we've got a really cool find that i found in a recent toy hunt if you haven't checked out that toy hunt go ahead and do that now it was posted yesterday september the 6th we ended up hunting a vast array of stores and we found this two pack at books a million uh, somewhere where i wasn't really intending on finding a lot of things i have never really toy hunted books a million before um but we ended up finding a, an amazing find. Really, this is something that I wasn't expecting to find on the shelf this quick. If you go out and look at a lot of the online retailers for our toys that we collect, uh, you know these are not due out for a month or more in a lot of cases. So really cool to get this in hand and go ahead and be able to review it for you. So we got Rogue, we got Pyro. Um, kind of got this, what we've seen with the, some of these newer two packs kind of this slate looking grayish uh, off gray color uh, for the box. Got their names down below, Marvel's Rogue, Marvel's Pyro. Hasbro's got some uh, branding there in the bottom. Got a big X in the bottom left corner, same X on the top. Promotional artwork on the sides and the back. They basically just take these and shrink them down to fit them here on the side. But that is some amazing artwork. I love the artwork they're doing on these two packs. Really hitting a home run there. As far as uh, the window packaging here, we can see pretty much everything that these guys come with. We got Pyro, we got Rogue, uh, we've got his flame effects, an alternate head for both, and then Rogue with a couple alternate hands. Let's go ahead and pop these guys out of their package and see what we got. All right, guys, so we got our figures out and on our review table, we'll go ahead and take a look at these guys one at a time with Rogue uh, being our first look. So Rogue picked up this new outfit that we have here uh, in X-Men Legacy Annual Number 1. So she wanted to kind of pick up a less intimidating look uh, as a counselor when she took over counseling duties uh, at Utopia. Uh, so he here's what she chose to go with. So I like it okay. I'm more of a Jim Lee fan. Uh, I really like that rogue Jim Lee and kind of the way I'm building my Marvel collection uh, this uh, outfit in particular really doesn't have a place in my collection, so she may end up hitting the eBay or Macari, uh, you know, uh, sale lineup. I'm not sure yet. We'll see. Got a little deciding to do, but let's go ahead and take a look at the accessories that she comes with. We get an additional head here. Really nice looking head. Kind of has an angry look to her. If you were going to, you know, put her in some type of a fight pose. She's got that nice ponytail. They've done a really good job here on the ponytail. You can see it's even kind of got some nice sculpted detail here with the different kind of strands of hair and paint looks fantastic. Nice look here to this hair is real sculpted and detailed. Paintwork looks really nice though. You can take a look there at those eyes and that face. Teeth are really well done inside the mouth. They did a great job on that. And we can take this face here and kind of, that's just kind of a more of a kind of laid back, happy face there and an angry face. So looks nice. I like that. Let's see if we can get her to stand. Okay. And she also comes with two additional hands here. We've got just a kind of open palm hand there. Sure, that's just a reuse, a repaint of uh, something we've already got, and then kind of a semi open palm hand here. Kind of look like you know a, a casting magic type of uh, hand, if you ask me, but but they look good. She comes with two fist hands actually on her. So let's go ahead and take a detailed look at Rogue and her outfit. So we can take a look here, kind of got that. Same ponytail uh, that's used on the other head sculpt. We got that same exact mold here. Um, basically all the hair, uh, you know, it, it looks the same for the most part with the exception of the ponytail and kind of these these uh, bangs, I guess you could say here, uh, instead of being flared out, you know, like we were seeing here, they're just kind of under control and down to the side. So it looks good. Moving on down, we got the X symbol here and on each shoulder. Looks pretty good. The paintwork is, it's Marvel Legend acceptable. Um, you know, I'm not saying seeing any 
just real flaws or manufacturing flaws. There's a little bit of, you know, a scuff here, a scuff there, uh, you know, a line that ain't too crisp, uh, you know, here and there. Got a nice little scarf here uh, that was part of, uh, you know, the original outfit that she wore. Uh, one thing there you, you'll notice, you can kind of see that neck and that kind of that ball peg up in there a little bit due to the way this, I guess they had, to, it almost looks like they had to extend the neck in order to get this on here. Um, if you were to pop this head off, like we were gonna change the head, you can you can take the scarf off. And let's say we wanted to put this head back on. It's a tight fit. You can see the, the neck kind of looks extremely long doesn't look right. So I don't know if they, maybe they had to extend it or, or make it a little, a hair longer, or maybe the ball peg is longer, um, you know, in order to, to be able to fit that scarf on there. We'll pop that back off, get our scarf back on. And it comes on and off very easy. There we go, looks good. As we continue to move down, we got our belt here. Got pretty good paint work there on the belt. A little bit of white paint kind of bleeding over into the green or maybe they didn't get the green there. So this, this belt is actually a separate, it's not part of the main sculpt. It's just a, it's kind of like a, almost like a skirt. You can see that move there. So it's, it's not part of the sculpt. It is separate. As we move down, the, she does, you know, they got these knee-high boots. They are sculpted in. They're not, not like we've seen on some of the other Marvel Legends. I, I kind of tend to like that a little more. Kind of wish they had a little bit of a different paint color to them uh, because it, it would help kind of differentiate between, you know, the leggings and the boots, but looks okay. Got this uh, kind of this... Um, little band around here and those bands are sculpted in not able to move them which is nice because we've seen with the cyclops and some other figures where those bands kind of move around they fall down to their ankles that kind of thing so it looks really good as far as articulation for her we can run through that real fast real good articulation here because just of how you know how high that neck is sitting get, and get a full 360 on it looks good Get those arms out to about right there. Obviously the full 360 on those. No bicep, single jointed elbow. Hoping one day we're gonna get some double jointed elbows for our female figures in the Marvel Legend line. Get that wrist articulation, standard for Marvel Legend, 360. Got move, plenty of movement there. The upper torso. Don't have anything at the waist. Uh, we can get this out some, but hindered by the skirt that we just talked about. We do have a thigh cut there, though, so we can get a full 360 on the thigh, double-jointed knees, and then just your standard Marvel legend articulation in the feet. So it looks good. And these are moving real well. Um, not having any problem with these. They don't feel like they're going to break. So, yeah, really well done. So that's our rogue figure. Let's move on into Pyro. All right, now we got the figure that I really bought this pack for, and that is our Pyro figure. So Pyro uh, first appeared in Uncanny X-Men number 141. Uh, pretty much since that time, he's not changed. Um, they have really held true uh, to the original design of this guy, and I'm really happy with that. I'm, I'm completely happy with it. I think it's a really cool design. Uh, you know, any X-Men games that he's been in, video games, this is the look we pretty much have gotten. Comic books, this is how he's still pretty much showing up for the most part. So I'm, I'm very happy with it. Got a few accessories for this guy. We got an additional head sculpt. Kind of got a snarky looking, mischievous, you know, style of smile there. But looks really good. This may be the one that I actually uh, display him with in my on my brotherhood shelf and then we got two fire effects 
We've seen these before. I'm pretty sure these are the same ones that come with like Johnny Storm. So nothing new to us there. Would have been nice to kind of get an effect that, you know, looked more like he was, you know, shooting flame, you know, out of his, uh, you know, his pack there. Uh, but, you know, these will just have to sit on the, the end of his uh, hands and, you know, do the best you can with it. So looking at him, we'll go ahead and take a look at just what we do have here. The head sculpt that's on him. Very stoic look. Almost a, a smirky smile, I guess you could say. This pack here that he's wearing can come off. So if you, I don't know why you'd want to take it off, but if you did, uh, you can. You can see that that is a, just as a peg and then a peg hole in his back. You would just pop this head off and just slide this right over the top. These uh, gauntlets here, these would uh, slide off if you were to remove his hand. So you could take uh, the pack completely off if you wanted to. Not sure why anybody would want to, uh, because that's kind of what makes pyro pyro, but you can. But looking really good. The paintwork is extremely crisp on this guy. Better than even Rogue. But you can see the uh, most of these lines are just very crisp lines. Not a lot of paint bleed. I have a lot of looseness in this ankle for whatever reason. So I could see that posing some some issues as far as standing, but but we'll we'll work through it. But it looks really good. He does have, if you can see that, some little little hole coming out of his flamethrower there. But yeah, it looks really good. I, that hair is nicely painted and detailed. It's got a little bit of brown wash in it. Uh, in the blonde there. Looking at articulation on this guy, he's a little bit hindered uh, as far as this, but I mean, that's that's about as much as you can ask for as far as down, up, pretty good. Those arms can come out to about there. Uh, we can, we you can kind of get the three, almost the 360, but I'm, I'm not gonna do it because these uh, obviously get in the way. So, but he's fully articulated there. He even has a little bit of a butterfly joint in there, you can see. See that butterfly joint? Swivel at the bicep there, double jointed elbows on this guy, okay? Wrist articulation, your standard Marvel Legends stuff. He's got a real nice chest crunch slash ab crunch there and then he's got a swivel at the thigh as well get out to about right there he's got a cut in the thigh right there double join the knees cut at the calf and then your standard ankle articulation for marvel legend in the ankle and again his ankles are a little bit loose both of them actually so we'll have to uh, have to get that worked out. So there we go. There's our Pyro figure, guys. Fantastic, fantastic release by Hasbro. One of my favorites, uh, especially from a two-pack standpoint. I think this was a much, much needed upgrade. I'll throw up a slide of the original one here, and you can decide for yourself. Let's bring in a few other Marvel Legend figures, show you guys some size comparisons, and we'll wrap up our video. All right, guys, so we got just a little array of Marvel Legends here. We got kind of your standard six inch male body for Cyclops there. See, they're about the same size. Then we have our comparison of our rogues. So one thing we can do is we can pull those rogues up here and look at their faces. Definitely a different face. You can see these eyes are farther apart than these are. I think there's some rumor out there we may get a new, uh, another another rogue. I think one of the guys, uh, can't remember his name, works for uh, Hasbro and does the Marvel Legends stuff. They had a uh, kind of a teaser image of a yellow glove, a hand with a yellow glove in it. A lot of people are saying that may be a new rogue figure, maybe part of a retro wave uh, that may come out. I'd be good with that. Because this guy, or this girl, 
is going for about anywhere from 80 to about 120 bucks uh, right now, secondary market. And then we got just our newest repaint of the Venom Build-A-Figure. So you can see where these guys stack up with the Build-A-Figure. So yeah, great two-pack guys. Definitely get out there and check your stores. Check Books A Million. Their Books A Million have apparently gotten theirs in. Uh, so that would be a great place to look. Comment down below. Let me know what you think. Or have you found them? Are you looking for them? If you do find them, let me know. Uh, I'd like to hear what you guys find as well. Also, if you're not a subscriber, hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button also. It helps get my video out there shared so other folks are able to see it. I hope you guys have a good rest of your week. Until next time.